Porkenstein. This is absolutely a treasure for me to read. It's one of my favorite books. I tend to read them to usually around second grade and third grade. They get a hoot out of it. So hopefully you get it as well. My favorite, Porkenstein. Dr. Smart Pig was a famous inventor, but he didn't have many friends. His two brothers had been eaten by the big bad wolf a year ago, and he had been very lonely ever since. T Tomorrow is Halloween, he thought sadly. What fun is Halloween without any friends? Suddenly, he had an idea. I'm an inventor. I can invent a friend. I'll never be lonely again. Dr. Pig was excited. He ran to his laboratory. I shall invent a pig that is bigger and better. Absolutely wolf-proof. He squealed. Then he mixed some chemicals in a beaker and went to bed. Nighty night, Dr. Pig. At dawn, Dr. Pig raced to his laboratory. The beaker glowed mysteriously. Then something leaped up and squirted him in the eye. Oh, dear! Cried Dr. Pig. Something's gone wrong. I've invented a pig fish. He put the pig fish into an aquarium and began to mix up a new batch of chemicals, this time with a little less salt. He put the beaker into an incubator to keep it warm, and off he went to weed his garden. A few hours later, kids, he returned to his laboratory. He peered into the incubator and was happy to see around its snout and a corkscrew tail. But something wasn't right. Oh no, he cried. It has wings. <laughs> the creature oink flew off and hung upside down from the ceiling. It's a pig pet, Dr. Pig said. I'll have to try again. Halloween night was getting closer and Dr. Pig still did not have a friend. He mixed up another batch of chemicals and this time he hooked the beaker up to his electro pigro meter. At the last minute, he threw in a teaspoon of sugar. It was almost sunset when he heard loud grunts coming from the lab. Another creation had come to life. There on the table was the biggest pig he had ever seen. This gets me so excited when I read this book. I start thinking about bacon. Pork chops! Oh, oh. Hogball chitlins! Oh no! Bacon! Ah. Hot dogs! I love pork! And my favorite of all, kids, ham! Ah. I am starving! The giant pig shouted, I need food! Feed me! Dr. Pig gasped, oh, Would you like a, a jelly donut? He asked, the giant pig swallowed it in the one gulp, dripping jelly all over him, so <laughs> more, he shouted, feed me more. Dr. Smart Pig was worried. Maybe inventing a friend wasn't such a good idea after all. The new pig ate and ate and ate. He ate jars of jam and peanut butter and every bit of food in the house. Then he ate the garbage, including the can. I love a fat pig. I can't help but to think this summer I might have a pig roast where you get the pig and you eat all of them. I even like pig ears. I fight over them with my dog. The pork. He ate the curtains, the doormat, the rug, and a chair. He even ate the dust bunnies and the bugs. What would the neighbors think? This was no friend. It's Parkinstein! Dr. Pig gasped. I've, I've created a monster. It did not take long for stories about Porkenstein to spread. Soon everyone for miles around was talking about the enormous pig. The big bad wolf. <laughs> heard about the incredible hog, and he began to draw at the thought. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> what a meal. 
Oh, it was just after sunset on Halloween night when someone knocked on Dr. Fate's door. Oh no! Our first trick or treater is you mean all the candy! Dr. Fate began to cry. Outside was a drooling little old lady that bang. Long furry ears and a tail tucked up under her dress. It's him! Dr. Smart Pig whispered, and he began to shake with fear. Who? The big bad wolf! The one who ate my brothers! <laughs> this isn't your mother's pig story, kids. Porkenstein opened the door! Trick or treat, piggy pie! The wolf said in a creaky old lady voice, he licked his chops. <laughs> you sure are a big fella. <laughs> what big thighs you have. And what long furry ears you have, replied Porkenstein. Inside the house, Dr. Pig listened. Frozen with fear, suddenly there was a scuffling sound followed by a huge gulp <laughs> and a rumbling belch. <laughs> Then silence. What do you suppose happened? It's not your same old grandmother's three little pigs. Dr. Smart Pig peeked out the door. You did! He cried and gasped in disbelief. <laughs> I did! Porkenstein smiled. A pair of empty boots stood where the wolf had been. <laughs> Oh, yes, an even bigger fat pig for me to eat. <laughs> that night, Dr. Pig could not believe how lucky he was. Parkenstein, he said, I'll never have a better friend. You mean I'm not just an invention? Porkenstein asked. No, you're a true friend. The big bad wolf was gone forever, and Dr. Pig would never be lonely. Now it was time for fun. I'm still hungry, said Porkenstein. Let's go trick-or-treating. So the two pigs put on costumes, and off they went. <laughs> Happy Halloween, kids. <laughs> and I hope those two unfortunate pigs don't meet up with Dr. E. Because <laughs> they will be on my grill. <laughs> Me. Bacon for me, ham sandwiches for everyone, hot dogs at the stadium. I hope they have better luck than to run into me. Have a good day.